The Tomago Wetlands Restoration Project is an internationally significant undertaking that showcases sustainable environmental outcomes at an estuary-wide scale rarely observed in Australia. Innovative on-ground engineering solutions and adaptive management have reinstated a tidal regime to successfully create salt marsh habitat for migratory wading birds across more than 400 hectares of wetland, as well as improving water quality and fisheries in the lower Hunter River estuary. The Tomago area was um, identified as an acid sulphate soil hotspot, meaning it produced a lot of acid sulphate um, runoff, which is really very damaging um, to the water quality and really reduced the productivity of um, the systems downstream. So it reverted from a salt water system to a fresh water system and also the reduction in salt marsh, because salt marsh is in fact throughout Australia, declining to a level that is absolutely critical. It's about the university providing an engineering solution to an ecological problem. The restoration of Tomago wetlands involved a staged approach to sustain the benefits of the wetlands. Stage 1 opened 100 hectares of the site to tidal flow through on-ground works including the installation of smart gates and a 1.8 kilometre perimeter levee to protect the productive adjacent farmland. Stage 2 and 3 reintroduced tidal waters to an additional 312 hectares using the innovative technology of automated buoyancy controlled swing gates which close the gates at the correct water level on the rising tide. The modified floodgates have been designed so that the flow velocities and pressures through the gates allow safe fish passage. Hydrodynamic modelling by the Water Research Laboratory showed how the site would respond to the restoration of tidal flows. The Water Research Laboratory has also developed advanced monitoring techniques, adapting remote imaging to sustainable management. So that monitoring is then used to basically redesign the system if it needs be, uh, to basically create those, in, those desirable outcomes of the site. We can manipulate the water level changes to within five centimetres, and that degree of flooding will determine what vegetation and what animals actually live there. Salt marsh has a very limited range of water levels that it can grow in. Adaptive management essentially means that we're using engineering solutions to get these desired environmental outcomes. To be able to get that result um, with the accuracy that we needed, um, with the minimal costs. What really surprised me about this project and its success was how almost instantaneous the water chemistry changed. It went from being just this bright orange, disgusting coloured water into only a few days. The water was clearing right up. Three weeks after the opening of the stage two gates, there were waders in that estuary at an area that didn't have salt water before. It's just remarkable. They hadn't been there for over 12 years and yet somehow they knew that it was right. It's just a fantastic project to be able to enhance conservation at a global level by a local project. The Tomago project showcases world's best practice for wetland restoration, able to be replicated across Australia. 